Adoption day for the Kittleson family. 14-year-old Serena finally gets a forever home. This is a wonderful day. This is a day I'm sure that you've thought about. I've been in the system for two years now, and I think two years is enough. I absolutely love the family that I'm in. I feel safe, wanted, healthy, cared for, and loved. Like I just fell in love as soon as I saw her eyes in the picture and read her bio, I was like, oh my gosh, this is my kid. She's got a great sense of humor, but it's kind of the same quirky sense of humor that our family has. She's very loving and nurturing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, she's really taken to the role of being a big sister. The Kittlesons have adopted four other foster kids. I have two brothers and two sisters. The boys are both four-year-olds, or five-year-old now. And my, I have a nine-year-old sister and a five-year-old sister. That's my family and they're just really sweet. Nicole Kittleson says it was her own childhood that inspired her to adopt. From the age of three, just knowing what it was like to have a parent walk out and not be there loving on you and that feeling of abandonment, just really wanted to make sure that other kids didn't feel that way. To make sure other kids felt loved and wanted was just a huge, huge goal in my life. But transitioning from the foster system <laughs> isn't always easy. Even though it's been something that's been horrific in her life, she's going to be one of those kids that rises above it and is going to change the world because of it. And she has that just set in her heart. And so this whole situation today is just huge for her. Like, she wants to be a voice for other kids. So on National Adoption Day in a packed courtroom, Serena reached out to other kids. I want to speak for all of the foster children out there and everyone getting adopted today that no matter what you go through, there's always a hope and that you'll get stability and that you're gonna have a forever family one day. And for any foster children in here, I'm sorry for what you've gone through, but at the end of the day, just realize that you've lived and that everything's gonna be all right in the end. And if it's not okay at the end, then it's not truly the end. So let this be your beginning. Thank you. So if you're considering adopting a foster kid, Serena has a message for you. Do it. It's amazing and you just give them an opportunity that, they're, that they haven't even thought of and they're going to go through so much and you can be there to help them and it's, it's just life impacting.